We are, to put it mildly, in unusual times. As COVID-19 has significantly disrupted our lives and the lives of people all over the world. The health impact of COVID-19 is what matters most, and we grieve over the many lives lost to the virus, and we pray for a complete recovery for those who are ill with it. We are grateful to the dedicated medical professionals who are on the front lines caring for the ill, thereby putting themselves in jeopardy. There are other major impacts as well, such as the economy, as the markets are battered by the virus, businesses are closing and losing revenue, if not going out of business altogether, and people are laid off. Students of all ages now have to learn from home, workers have to work from home, all of which puts stress on families as parents have to work and make sure their kids are electronically in school and teachers have to teach online while their own kids are at home. Those who are at work in person have to figure out childcare for their learning at home children. There are spiritual impacts as well. Our congregation, like so many others, has had to alter the way we provide prayer and learning experiences using modern technology as a stopgap measure. We are grateful that we can do this so we can still be together, if only electronically, even as we long to be back together in our sacred space. Ironically, our Torah portion this week, Vayakhel Pekude, which is the conclusion of the book of Exodus, is about the construction of sacred space, the Mishkan or tabernacle, which was the portable sanctuary God commanded the Israelites to build in the Sinai Desert on their journey towards the Promised Land. Isolating ourselves because of COVID-19 reminds us of how precious our sacred spaces are and how integral they are to our spiritual experiences. In our tradition, we have sacred deeds, the mitzvot, sacred spaces, like our sanctuaries, and sacred time, our holidays, especially Shabbat and life cycle occasions. Our Torah portion actually addresses the question of which is more important, sacred space or sacred time. And the winner is sacred time. Right before the construction of the Mishkan is to begin, God again gives the people the command to observe Shabbat. As if to say, first comes Shabbat, which is a sacred period of time, and then comes the building of the tabernacle, which is sacred space, because sacred time takes priority over sacred space. As scholars have noted, one of the Jewish people's great innovations was to make a period of time, Shabbat, holy. Ancient peoples commonly had sacred spaces, shrines, mountaintops, and the like. And yes, we have our beloved and vitally important sacred spaces. But we were the first people to declare that time can be holy. I do hope that sooner rather than later, we will gather together again in our beautiful and spiritually uplifting sanctuary. However, our ancient rabbis taught that our homes are a mikdash ma'at, a miniature sanctuary. So even as we are stuck at home, we can make Shabbat a holy time and our homes a sacred space by watching and participating in the service, having Shabbat dinner and reciting the Shabbat blessings, by joining us for our educational opportunities on Zoom and the other activities about which we are updating you. As always, Kanner Fibish and I are here for you we hope you will reach out to us if you need us. Above all, let's stay healthy and pray that God brings healing to all those who are ill. Wishing us all a restful and sacred Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.